People should take refrigeration very seriously, but there's certain things that are just kind of stupid and you don't have to. Today we're gonna be debating whether or not specific ingredients need to be refrigerated. I'm very uptight about refrigeration. Okay. I'm very uptight about food safety. I'm French countryside, leave it all out. Dealing with me, maybe I'll risk it a little bit, but anyone else, I'm totally strict about it. Well, you have a restaurant, so you have to yeah, keep yeah, people yeah. safe. Yeah. I don't have to keep anyone safe, <laughs> so I run risks. <laughs> Bread in the refrigerator? Never. No. no Never. No. In the fridge? Mm, I don't refrigerate bread no. in the fridge. That's no. like something my mom does or something. I keep my bread in the refrigerator. You shouldn't. <laughs> I don't trust it. Commercial yeah. bread will definitely have more shelf life. The way that bread is engineered is to be fine for some number of days. Sure. If you want to save it, go to the freezer. All my yeah. bread gets sliced and frozen as totally. soon as possible. Me too. And the fresher the bread is and when you slice it and freeze it, the better it is when you Completely. actually toast it. Oh no. It's called stale as hell. <laughs> um, right now you see the fat coagulated, right? Then you can see the different striations here. A lot of butter in there. Yeah. If you leave it out, it'll stay soft. Yeah. Look, look at this. You can get the idea. Look just how that broke. Look at that. No, that's not how bread breaks. So the USDA says commercial- USDA my ass, Jeff. So the USDA says commercial bread can be stored for 14 to 18 days in the pantry or two to three weeks in the fridge. How many? <coughs> Wait, 14 to 18 days, days in the pantry? And homemade bread can be stored three to five days in the pantry. Homemade bread. So if you don't have all those nice preservatives that kill natural growths of molds and stuff like that. Sure, if you make a Twinkie, it lasts forever, but. <laughs> Just eat I mean, the f bread, you know? Eat your bread. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That basil's a tricky one. It's really tricky. Can I keep my herbs in the fridge or in like a cup of water? Sure. But it's just like, you know, herbs are, are sensitive. You look at basil, it starts bruising, it you know? Bruising, yeah. I would buy it as you need it in small yeah. moderate. Don't like, oh, basil's on sale. Let me stock up on that. <laughs> the whole thing is how do you prevent it from getting swampy, oxidized, and black? If your fridge is very cold, basil will bruise and get cold damage very easily. I would never just stick like a big bunch of basil loose, you know, in the fridge. I wrap it in like a damp tissue. That's what I do too. Some people keep it in water. Water with like sometimes a bag over the top. Oh God, you know, you go, it's a bag and a thing and then all of a sudden there's like bugs in it. <laughs> it works, I just, I just buy it for when you need it. USDA says that basil can be stored five days in the pantry, 10 days in the fridge. I don't trust them. Fresh basil in the pantry for five days? I don't know, man. That might a psycho puts their basil in the pantry. I don't trust them. That seems wrong. Yeah, oh, eggs in the fridge. I don't, uh. I don't think so, but I do it. I do it here. I've heard that in other places where they don't, there's some kind of protective business on eggs that we in America rinse off. When you go and buy them at a supermarket, they the are fridge. definitely 100% in the fridge. What do we get them fresh from, like the chickens? What would you Thank do? Thank you. So that's my, yeah. I, I feel like they're not all created equal, right? So when you go and get them from the farm, like you're not even supposed to wash them, room temp, and that's what I do. Farm eggs, I, I keep them room temp too if I do get them from the farmer's market. Yeah. What's the the whole thing, isn't it the treatment of eggs? Yeah, they, they wash, there's like a natural coating on an egg. Yeah. There's like a film or a slime sounds gross or an enzyme or something that is on the outside of that, yeah. that kind of just keeps it like perfect. And you have to wash them, definitely have to wash them before you start cracking them and eating them because I think that's where like contaminants do live. But that said, I mean like you can leave eggs on the counter for a few days. Yeah, or if you're if you're doing a baking project, you know oh, you yeah. need temper, yeah, you want all of warm that. eggs. The USDA says eggs should be refrigerated and shouldn't be left out for more than two hours. Mm -hmm. Two hours. I take that very seriously. <laughs> two hours? Something they do here makes it so we must refrigerate them. <sighs> Can't leave good enough alone. That's where we live. <laughs> I like cold ketchup, man. Right out of the yeah. fridge. Yeah, dog. It's in my fridge, but if you think about diners, out. We keep it in the fridge too, but why? I taste the sugar in it when it's at room temperature. I think it's shelf stable, so I think it can stay outside. I don't, I don't know. think you do. I don't think you have to stress about ketchup that much. I'm so like stressed out about ketchup. Fine. I mean, I feel like there's enough acidity that there's it like should be fine. There's like salt or sugar or something in there mm -hmm. to like preserve it. Yeah. I, mean, I think the safe answer with ketchup, once that thing is open, you, you put it in the fridge. Yeah. 
Uh, I feel like the USDA is gonna tell us to put it in the fridge. Yeah, but I don't really care. I think <laughs> it stays Rebel. outside. <laughs> Shelf-stable commercial ketchup is safe when stored at room temperature after opening for six months, but refrigeration ensures it stays fresh. Crackle, oh, this is ketchup. really fresh <laughs> yeah. ketchup. The USDA is gonna let you keep it at room temperature. There is no chance right. that it will go bad. <laughs> it can stay off for 100 ketchup. years, it'll be fine. No, hell no, hell no. That's a big no-no, man. Certain reds, I kind of like a little chill. You talking about like the box wine? I ain't above nothing. <laughs> that kind of stuff got me ice cold. That's like a fish, like a cheap beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who has leftover open red wine? I do, all the time. <laughs> I'm in the fridge. Yeah, same. I used to do the vacuum pump, and then I felt like it was actually just hoovering up the aromatics and like yeah. just making oh. things weirder, not yeah. better. My instinct would be to put it in the fridge, but... At restaurants, they don't refrigerate them. They leave them there. Just put the cork back in it, from what I've noticed. I think some of them, like uh, wine heads I know, like they might keep it chilled, but like you definitely got to let it come to temp and, and, and temper a bit. Because if uh, wine with uh, exposure to oxygen and warm temperatures, we're, we're, we're making vinegar, folks. Use it or lose it, just drink it. Yeah, just f drink it, yeah. The USDA says opened red wine should be refrigerated for one to three days after opening. But what are they worried about? That's not gonna kill you. Why are they weighing in on red wine? Doesn't that seem like a, not a very good use of their time? They're trying to keep their jobs. <laughs> I would say no. Just no. No, it doesn't have to be. I keep most of my butter in the freezer. There's a, a quiet glory to room temperature butter. Quiet glory. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, it spreads yeah. more easily. It's wonderful. You get to experience the texture in a completely different way. In the fridge, after a while, you get that line. You know when it's like dark yellow around the edge? Yeah, but what is that? It's probably just dry. Or maybe that's whatever they put in it trying to make its way <laughs> out. <laughs> Long term, that I'll store it in the fridge. But even right now, I haven't been home in days. There's a little crock of butter that I keep on the counter. Room mm. temp. Room temp? I mean, that's the way, hey, what are we doing? I mound a lot of sauces with butter, so I keep my cold. If you're at a restaurant, like some like stupid Italian restaurant or something, and they come out with the bread and the little ice cold mm. little like personal, like, you know, those little. And then the bread is warm. And you put that ice cold <laughs> yeah. butter on it and you just bite it. Yeah. It's kind of the best. good, man. So this is room temperature butter. Just like look at, like that is a wonderful texture. That you want that lots butter. of. You want lots of. Yeah. Beautiful, mm. right? Yeah, it's yeah. easy it is to cut, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't? I mean, That's get nice. the bread. Ice cold is a lot harder and yeah, it's gonna be hard to spread, you know? Butter can be left out at room temperature for one to two days, but can last one to two months in the fridge. Right. You can go through a stick of room temp butter so quickly. So fast. I'm hosing butter. I don't let it sit out. So I, I'm a salted butter guy. Right. But room temp, salted is going to last a little longer. It is just a, another layer of protection in a sense. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't keep tomatoes in the fridge. It takes the tomato taste out if you put it in the fridge, right? I don't know the science behind it, but yeah. yeah. It's, it's not good. It like, depends on what you plan on doing with them. What would you want them to be? cold and yucky for. Soup or Espacho. if you're trying to save them? Yeah, yeah, if they're gonna go bad. But usually I leave them out. It's the yes. end game when you're like, these are gonna get roasted, we're gonna make sauce. Yes. And they're gonna burst. But like yeah. a fresh tomato, like really should never no. be refrigerated. No. And they're sensitive to cold. They're, they're not a cold atmosphere fruit, yeah. you know, when they grow in, in the summertime. Just like basil, I use tomatoes as I need it. Just give them to me two months out of the year when they're growing and I can get them at the farmer's markets. These ones are refrigerated and I think they look a little sad around the edges. So the USDA says tomatoes can be stored in the pantry until ripe, then go to the fridge for seven days, but the refrigeration might affect flavor. Huh. Wow, all right, we're there. there. You, go. you know, if that's the case, then maybe it does start to carry through with some ripeness. Listen to the USDA if you're scared. I think it's the same like the eggs. Yeah, yeah we yeah. never refrigerate. My, my no, grandmother didn't we don't refrigerate do it. them. You just put it somewhere. I think it's better at room temperature. This is kind of like the tomato thing. If they're going to go to a place where you need to stop yeah. the ripening. Yeah, if they're like perfectly ripe and you, you know you're not going to consume them right away, yeah. then like, yeah, the fridge will work for a day or two maybe. Right, but leave them out. But leave them out. Look, if you're in the East Coast, it's a lot harder for you to like get nice avocados. So they usually come super green and you gotta like put them in a bag and let yeah, them, like, let them get, start to ripen yeah. a little bit. But if you're like in California or that side of the
the world, it's easy for you to grab all those things. You can use avocado. You don't have to put them in the fridge. No, they're but pretty. I mean, they're pretty uh, shelf stable. Yeah. I yeah. do room temperature until they're too soft, and then fridge to slow it down. What does the USDA say? <laughs> Avocados should be left in the pantry until ripe and can be stored in the fridge once ripe for one to two days. Yeah. One to two days. No longer. Yeah. All right. That's, yeah. that's the best yeah, thing they said all day. Word. Those guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> what about homemade ketchup? I don't know. If you're, let's talk if you're making your own ketchup. Like, we'd love to hear from you. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> That's and, a no, different seriously, conversation. You can, you can write in. We'll, we'll drop a little URL. You can, like, drop us a note here, okay? Like... I want to know who you are and why you are doing this.